Hey guys, I'm just here with uh, Cam Watkins from Dutch Physio. We're going to run through some FRC, which is Functional Range Conditioning. We've just done some assessments on my shoulders and I've got shit house internal rotation and my overhead range is bad. I'll chuck the photos in so you guys can see that and we'll do a bit of a before and after. Cam, can you give us like a 60 second on what FRC is? All right, well, Functional Range Conditioning, essentially uh, it, it's aiming to achieve exactly that functional range. So not just a good range of, of movement, which would be the definition of flexibility, that it's a, a great range of movement. We're looking for mobility, which is through range control and strength and control, particularly at the ends of those ranges, which is where we're gonna be using those joints and where we often get pain in those joints. So again, not just having the flexibility to achieve impressive ranges of movement, but actually having that strength through range. So FRC is a, a system created by these guys in the States, and um, or Dr. Spina, who's Canadian, and it's a, an evidence-based system of, of achieving that mobility. So we're gonna work through a bit with Tim Shoulders here. So Cam's gonna go through the CARS process for the shoulder. Yep, so CARS, which is uh, capsular articular rotations of, of the joint, which is working the joint right to the edge of its range and through the whole range there. They focus on the law of irradiation or, or using irradiation, which is tensing up everything else. Breath in, tensing up everything, externally rotating through the front, making sure I'm not compensating through my thoracic, scapula, lower back, making sure it's pure glenohumeral joint mobility up, around, finding every little point of this joint that I can, externally rotating, adducting, coming up, around, making sure again that I'm not laterally flexing, rotating the trunk, doing any other compensatory movement. It's pure glenohumeral joint mobility through range. And back again. So I just finished up a very painful 20 minutes of stretching. Um, I got about a 60, I'd say, degree increase on my internal rotation of my shoulder. I'll just get Cam to video my internal rotation now so you can see it. Let's have a squeeze. Gotcha. So let's come up. Yeah, and internal, internal. So that's, we now have a shoulder. In terms, in terms of FRC, you didn't have a shoulder before, you now have a shoulder. So I was that's about good. there. Yeah. I was pretty much like yeah. parallel, and now I've got, actually got some internal rotation. Yeah, and let's see how that's helped your overhead range as well. And now we are actually getting overhead with not, you know, with not the arching of the back or the compensating that we were seeing before. So, very happy with that. Nice work, happy mate. Sesh. Good hard work.